all of us here today may have a tale to tell our grandchildren when we say that we attended the unveiling of the joint European Taurus at Cullum and witnessed the beginning of a brilliant new technological advance. In an energy hungry world, the jet may be a step along the road towards a virtually unlimited source of electric power. I am delighted to be able to applaud this magnificent technical achievement, the full potential of which is still to be revealed. I am proud that my country, through the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority and British industry, has made a contribution to the launching of the project. It is also particularly appropriate that the President of France, who currently holds the presidency of the European Council, should be with us today to celebrate this achievement of European cooperation. We warmly welcome him and other distinguished guests. There is a long way to go before we will know for sure whether fusion can be used to generate electricity reliably and economically and without harm to the environment. It is a challenge which will be a great stimulus to human ingenuity and one which has already evoked from the project team a response of the highest quality. I wish you all good luck with your future efforts and I have great pleasure in formally opening the joint European Taurus. <laughs>